time for the Writer's Block, our weekly look at sports, sports, sports. I'm Jenny Carlson here in the studios of the Oklahoman, joined by the great, the one, the only, Cedric Golden from the Austin American Statesman. Hello, my friend. What's up? And I love sports. Let's talk sports. Yeah, and you know what? I said it last week, and it was true last week. It's game week, but you know what? It's game week again because the NFL is kicking off this weekend. Actually, Thursday night's the first game. Then a full slate this weekend, but Cedric, we can't get to the season until we talk about some unfinished business, which I guess is now finished. That being Ezekiel Elliott, he's a cowboy, he's getting some coin out of this whole deal. We thought that this deal would get done, but it did sort of wait till the last minute. How did this play out in your mind? Did it, did it feel like this was how it was going to happen? I thought it would happen last week when we talked, but Jerry Jones... He was up, he was backed up against a wall and well, what do you got to do? He's your best player. Pay him. Give that man his money. <laughs> Pay him the money. You want to win a Super Bowl? You want to win the NFC East? You want to compete against Drew Brees and Carson Wentz and Jared Goff in the playoffs? Then you need to give your best player the money that he deserves. He knows that he was that he's only got like three or four years shelf life before they throw you on the scrap heap at that position. So he had to maximize his earning potential. Uh, it was kind of a witching hour type thing, but he's going to get three, three full practices out of this. He's going to play on Sunday against the Giants. I'll be there. And I just think, I just think that Jerry had to cut that check. He had to cut that check or the Cowboys were going to risk uh, being basically who they've been. For the last 20 years, not a, a would be contender that just doesn't know how to get over the hump. Yeah, you know, I think uh, Jerry Jones had mentioned at one point that, you know, there's only so many pieces of pie to cut up. But I think we might have forgotten how big the pie was that he had to <laughs> cut up. I mean, he's still handing out big, big uh, contracts. I mean, to me, this was how it had to end. They had to get Ezekiel Elliott on the roster to start the season. You don't. You mentioned this this competition, Cedric, that they have. You can't get into a tough, uh, you know, a tough uh, a division, and be without a great player in any game. You need to see each one of these games as not must win, but you don't want to be given any away and look back at the end of the year when you're maybe on the road in a in a wild card situation and say. You know, man, if we had just had Zeke for that game, you don't want to be in that what if position if you're the Cowboys. And now they've at least got all their guys. I mean, maybe they lose some of these games. Maybe he is more rusty than people think. But you at least have all the personnel. And Cedric, I mean, I think now when you talk about Super Bowl favorites, I know the Chiefs are really a hot pick because of what they did a year ago, how close they came to getting to that final game a year ago. But you got to think the Cowboys, before this signing, there's a question. Are they legitimately a Super Bowl contender? Now, aren't they in that conversation? Absolutely. Um, not that they're going to get there, because let's be real. Uh, the, la the last time the Cowboys played in a Super Bowl, I was 100 pounds lighter and I had hair. <laughs> and I was hot back then. <laughs> I'm not hot anymore, but I know that the Cowboys are much better uh, with Zeke Elliott than they would have been even back in the day. And if you can remember the last time they won that first Super Bowl of the 90s, Emmitt Smith held out. And they went 0-2 to start the season. And Michael Irvin and Troy Aikman went in to Jerry's office and said, look, we ain't going down like this. Give Emmitt his money, man. He gave Emmitt his money. Emmitt won the rushing title. And the Cowboys repeated as Super Bowl champs. Uh, if you want to be one of the big dogs, then you got to break the big bread to your best players. Uh, Dak Prescott, they're they're trying to do a deal with Dak Prescott uh, in these in these next few days. They they actually tried to do one over the week, but it didn't happen because he's only making two million this year. They like to get all their ducks in a row. And the one thing that I think Jen is that Jerry realizes uh, at seventy six or seventy seven years old that. He doesn't have too many more runs yeah. left in him. And this nucleus of Prescott and Zeke Elliott and Amari Cooper, that good offensive line, Leighton Vander Esch, uh, Jalen Smith, Byron Jones, those guys 
are the nucleus of a would-be Super Bowl contender, and he yeah. knows that. You don't want to mess that up at this point. This is his last chance to try to get a Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah it, that's that's uh, and it, it's tough sledding because as I'm sitting here thinking about who the favorites are, I mentioned the Chiefs before. You know, I love that they're doing you know that air raid offense that I think a lot of NFL teams have been hesitant to dive into full speed ahead but obviously the the magic of Mahomes Patrick Mahomes just unbelievable fun to watch all of that and yet Cedric when you start to think about who could be in the Super Bowl mix in my mind you know obviously Chiefs uh you know the Rams the the Cowboys you can't forget about the Patriots I mean even as Thanks. Tom Brady Thanks. he ages and ages he, I mean there's at least half a dozen teams in my mind that legit have a shot to be in that Super Bowl. Rams, Saints, Patriots, Cowboys, Eagles, Vikings yep. even. There are some really good teams that are on the come up, and you have to be at full strength if possible because we know injuries happen. It's a violent game. But don't let a, something like a little piece of money keep you from getting to where you're going to be. I think the Chargers dropped the ball with Melvin Gordon. They should have tried to come at some kind of agreement. Uh, he's been top three in total yards and t total touchdowns for three years running. And so um, for them to be going into the season without Melvin Gordon, to me, eliminates them as a Super Bowl uh, contender. Maybe a playoff team, but not somebody you're going to take seriously. I got the Chiefs and the Saints in the Super Bowl with New Orleans winning. Uh, over uh, Drew Brees outdueling Patrick Mahomes. So I think it's fun that the um, Dallas Cowboys are at full strength with Zeke. I think it's fun that they're going to play teams like New Orleans, uh, Philadelphia, and um, the New England Patriots in the regular season. And so we'll, we'll find out soon enough how good they are. But these are the kind of games like the Giants coming up on Sunday. You can't let these kind of winnable games. Yeah. Uh, slide through the cracks because you didn't want to break bread to Zeke. You got you got them, and then you got the Miami Dolphins. Very winnable games. Got to take care of business on that front if you want to go to special places. Yeah, you said a little thing like money. I'm not sure 90 mil is little, but when you're Jerry Jones, write the check. Let's get this thing done. He did. By the way, if it's Chiefs, Saints, sign me up for that, Cedric. But I still think the Patriots are going to be a player in this whole thing until until Aren't further notice. Yes, absolutely uh. yes.